people, welcome to my moving vlog. We are going to be packing up my makeup room. I have been dreading this for the whole past year now. Moving would be so much easier if I didn't have all this makeup and if my job didn't depend on this makeup. So uh, I have about less than a week, six days until the movers come to get my stuff while simultaneously working and still continuing to film. Uh, so it's been stressing me out, but today is the first day that we're actually gonna start packing up this room but basically it's time for me to pack up this stuff I need to get started because it's gonna take me forever how I planned it out we are going to be without my stuff for almost two weeks probably about a 10 day window for our stuff to come in so I have all my video ideas written out to film this week to have it ready for next week. So I'm gonna pull out that stuff that I need for those videos and then pack everything else. We did end up getting movers. For us, if you're moving, the cheapest option is to get like a U-Haul pod, but we called around to a lot of different movers and we found a pretty good priced moving company that would coordinate everything for us. It was about $1,000 more, but I felt more comfortable doing that than getting a U-Haul considering I have so many fragiles. So I'm happy, but if you are moving, call a lot of movers, okay? We had some movers giving us a price of $10,000 and I was like, yeah, no. And then we had some movers giving us a price like well over less, that like more than half of a price difference than $10,000, that's nuts, but anyways. All is well, <laughs> we worked it out. Now it's time to actually start move. Let me show you something, you guys. I have been saving all of my makeup boxes and all of the packaging, any bubble wrap that I can get my hands on, I've been saving for this move. All of these are boxes that I've collected from like PR packages and stuff. So my room has literally been stressing me out with how messy it's been. So it's time to organize and I think tonight I am just going to pack up everything, let me show you, in this closet. This closet doesn't hold any immediate makeup that I need to film with. A lot of it's like my makeup kit stuff, seasonal decorations, Jose and I's like summer clothes and stuff. Some clothes that Jose and I don't wear. It's a mess, don't judge me. This room is messy, I can't even organize anything. So uh, yeah, this is what we're working with. I have my makeup kit, some of my makeup kit replenishments, and then I have a lot of clothes that I'm, Jose and I are gonna go through, a lot of seasonal decorations and all of that. So this stuff is what I'm gonna go through today. I'm not packing everything, I can tell you that, but it looks messier than it is, you know? It's like one of those organized mess situations. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, I put together my first box. I don't even know where to do this. So this is what I use to take my photos. It's like a studio photo box. Luckily, you can break this down. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna start off by putting this in the box. Tiny that folded down. <gasps> that how did that take up so much room in my closet when it really wow. Okay. I forgot I have money in here. This is my bag that I take with me to do makeup. It's it has my brushes and some sanitation stuff. I forgot I had a whole pocket of tip money. Heck yeah. Yo, I had almost four hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> tip money in here. Heck yeah! I normally like to keep cash in here for like, tips for like ballet parking or sometimes some parking garages. You have to pay with cash. But $400? Okay. I'm just literally gonna throw this in here. Nothing in here is breakable. Is it extra to take this with me? I'm going to. Not taking this with me. I have this whole box of like re-ups for my makeup kit. I'm going to put the non-breakable stuff in this small box. And then it can sit nicely in that box.
Okay, first box in the makeup room is filled. It's so funny. <laughs> this stuff I have in here. I have a bunch of like eyelashes free balling it in here. <laughs> I put some boxes, makeup stuff in a couple boxes, a lot of my freelance stuff. But yay, I'm going to close this one up. And the closet still looks filled, but you know, that's life. right now I just forced my husband to take me to Home Depot because I ran out of my bigger size boxes and there were some things that weren't fitting and they were all sold out and it's like nine o'clock at night so they were about to close so I got 10 more small boxes and I'm just gonna start packing makeup that I know I'm not gonna use in the next three weeks in any videos starting with my untried palette drawer I'm just gonna wrap these up I bought some bubble wrap and we're gonna try and do it nice and tight eating some pizza Let's go. I like stayed up till 10 30 packing because I started really late last night I didn't get much done because I ran out of boxes big enough because I wanted to pack some of the bigger stuff that I wasn't going to use first and then I got mad <laughs> so um I just finished my work day kind of I'm going live at 7 30 it's like four right now so until then, I want to pack some of the big stuff that I meant to pack last night. Jose took me to Lowe's today and they had some bigger boxes. Thank goodness. I kind of feel stressed. Like it's Wednesday. The movers come on Monday and I haven't done very much. So, <laughs> partial got Duncan. I'm a Starbucks girl because of the aesthetic. But at the end of the day, do you know how many times I've gone to Starbucks and hated my drink? Duncan's coffee is always better. They make it much sweeter. Which I think is why I like it, but Dunkin' over Starbucks, but I'd rather hang out at Starbucks. <sighs> I'm stalling, let's go. Progress has been made. I filled up a second box. Huh. All right, I'm gonna pack my jewelry. I keep my jewelry in this thing. It's a lot. Obviously, I'm keeping like nice, expensive, fancy jewelry with me as I travel. You see, but all of this, I'm going, well, not all of it, <laughs> but the cheap stuff, I'm gonna put into baggies and pack it away. Okay, so I got most of it in here. Not all of it, but a good chunk. 
I'm going to wrap this in bubble wrap and then fit it into whatever box that I can, but yay! I've been avoiding doing this, so that's good. Good morning. <laughs> As you can see, I'm doing very little each time, but I'm in the middle of a foundation wear test, and I don't know, I'm starting to feel a little anxiety build up about packing because I haven't done much. <laughs> So, in between this foundation wear test and to kind of calm my nerves, because I do want to film another video, but I'm going to pull all the products that I need to film for the next couple of days. I mean, I don't have much filming to do, but I just want to make sure I have that and what products I want to use while the movers have our stuff. So like my new makeup, my favorite makeup, makeup I'm testing. I just want to get that organized and pulled so we can start like packing the makeup which would be nice so let me get this box together a lot of the products that i'm currently using or testing is here but i just want to go through and pack the stuff that i just know i'm not going to need like everything in this drawer is coming with me on the train because this is all the makeup that i'm currently testing but this stuff right here is not stuff that I'm testing, so I'm ready to pack it. <laughs> I feel like I've done so much, but I'm looking around and I've really done so little. You can see all of this is still filled. I went through my entire collection and I pulled out products that I'm going to take with me. And it's a lot. So that way, if I want to, and I'm not going to pressure myself, but if I want to, I can film get readies with me and stuff. So I just picked a lot of my favorite stuff and I put it in these two bins to not pack. So that way now we can go through this that I have going on and actually start packing that stuff. So Jose is at the store right now picking up tape for me because I ran out. But my room is a tragedy right now. It really, really is. But I feel like I'm getting there. We've made progress. But I'm dead. Look at all that. Packed all of that makeup nice and tight. It's like I feel like I've packed stuff, but I feel like there's more stuff than ever in my room. Like it got worse. There's I don't understand. I had to pick almost all of this. The ones you see with the white tape, had to pick them up. All the tape they had before. Because it was cheap and bad. And put the other tape. Basically playing Tetris, playing Tetris with 10 pound boxes. I'm sweating. So it is like midnight. I haven't been packing all this whole time. I like went out to dinner and stuff and I edited, I did some work. But I found myself back in the room just because I was in the mode. I am wrapping up all of my acrylic boxes and trying to wrap up what I can on the insides look at that it's getting empty so how i'm doing it for the powder products i pretty much individually wrapped each powder product in some bubble wrap and then put it in and then bubble wrapped this for things like lip glosses eyeliners lip liners things that aren't going to break uh pretty much i'm trying to keep everything at least kind of in the same drawer if i can so for these this is a pretty packed tight drawer so I just put some paper in here so that it doesn't swim around as much and then I'm going to bubble wrap this so I've been at it for hours you guys I, I can never move again I, I've never done this before this is terrible another day of guess what more packing my goal is to get the main body of the makeup all packed today not the whole room but just the makeup so so far i have all of this packed which for reference is this much of my makeup cabinets so jose is gonna wrap these in boxes and i'm just gonna work on this and then when we're done with this we are gonna start on wrapping eyeshadow palettes which i think is gonna be quicker than wrapping these drawers because i have to bubble wrap these drawers because i don't want them to break because they were very expensive but at least with the palettes it's just like cutting and i think it'll be easier let's hope anyways let me finish this up
morning we are on like freaking day five of working on this room i've only worked on it in small increments but yesterday was the day that we buckled down we got so much done yeah we got all of these acrylics all packed and bubble wrapped the majority of all my palettes in here are all wrapped up there's like one drawer left that we have to do and this morning i'm working on my lipstick drawer and then after that i need to pack my charlotte tilbury stuff i'm not bringing my impressions vanity with me which i'm really sad about i'm gonna keep it at my parents house in hopes that i can one day have it but i just don't have the space in my new apartment we'll wrap these palettes up and for the most part that's like the majority of the makeup so we've gotten there we have today and tomorrow and then the movers come on monday so gotta get to work well that was a lot more quick and easy than i thought it was going to be to pack all my lip products but Another section done. It's time to pack up my Charlotte Tilbury shrine. I already delivered some palettes to my mom who's packing my palettes. I'm so sad. We just won't have enough room in our apartment for this. So hopefully, <laughs> I'll get it back one day. But let's start packing. I know I've looked absolutely gorgeous throughout this adventure here. Today is the last day of packing. I feel like I've only shown you little clips of each day, but just know I've been working and then I've been working in other rooms and look, it's so empty. So this is the makeup that I'm taking with me in the car. Uh, this is staying here. All of this is mostly empty. I have this box for a sponsorship I need to film. Uh, that's some giveaway packages, more giveaway packages. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Everything is empty. All the makeup is packed. I have these fragile stickers that I'm putting on the makeup. So let me do that real fast. Who knows if they'll actually pay attention to those stickers, but I am hopeful that they will, hopefully. That's my makeup, my babies. And the wall art is down for the most part. This room it just feels so ginormous without all my stuff in here. I love how clean it feels. So it's been a couple of days since I've updated you because I got frustrated about a certain situation. Let me put my camera down. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I did update you guys about this on my Instagram story, but essentially I was told by the coordinator of our move that the movers would come pick our stuff up on Monday. That date was also in the contract, um, but there was a miscommunication of some sort and they didn't show up and I was like kind of freaking out. Keeping it brief, the way that uh, the company is doing the move that I'm doing uh, they're combining multiple people's stuff. So there was a window initially when I first got the contract that loading date would be between the 21st and the 23rd. But I guess there was a mix up because on my contract specifically, the one that I signed, it said loading date was the 21st. I got called the Thursday before that the movers would be coming on Monday. I'm telling you, she said that. <laughs> she called them to confirm, and I guess she never heard back from them because the following Monday was actually President's Day. So the office was not able to answer the phone because everybody got off, which I understood. But anyways, I was told that on Monday I should be expecting the movers, and they never came, and I was like, well, crap. <laughs> what do we do? Uh, then the next morning, I was able to get in contact with them. It's fine. It wasn't that big of a deal. They came today. Um, really nice guys. The stuff is gone. 
<laughs> so I get to close off this vlog. Let me show you because right now, because I didn't come Monday, it actually kind of messed up my schedule a little bit and my filming. But I had a, I know I should be taking a break, I know, but I had a contractual agreement to film a specific video. So I had to do that today. Uh, so the desk that I'm leaving behind, I actually just popped it in front of the window and I'm using my natural daylight to film. So I have some makeup stuff out right now that I dug out. But other than that, it's all empty, you guys. Not to mention, like, all of our bedroom stuff. We are on to the next chapter. We are leaving. We're taking an auto train tomorrow. And then we should arrive Friday morning. And then we still have to drive, like, three, three and a half hours to make it to Miami. But, oh my god. It is getting so real. So thank you guys for hanging out with me while I finish this huge task. Like, I never want to move again. <laughs> this was absolutely ridiculous, packing up all of this makeup. But it also was my job, so it had to be done. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Oh, just